I love how I don't really have a plan for this. There's a lot of paint everywhere right now. Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Sarah Labrat and in today's video, we're doing something a little bit different. I know this video is going up on July 2nd, but right now for me, it's June 30th. And so I'm trying really, really, really hard not to cheat and start my project for Camp Nano today, which as you guys know, I'm starting a new story. And so as you can tell from my whiteboard, it is almost July, meaning that July for me starts tomorrow. In order to force myself to not cheat, Cheat on Camp Nano by starting a day early, I decided that I wanted to make a painting based off of my Camp NaNoWriMo story, which is something that I have not done before and will be a little bit difficult because I have not yet started writing this book, and so this painting is going to be based off of the idea that I have for my project. If you guys watched my Camp NaNoWriMo announcement where I talked about what I'm going to be doing for the month of July. You know that I'm starting a new story and it is a Hades and Persephone retelling. Something else that I have not mentioned is that there are going to be mermaids. I don't know if that's actually gonna work yet, but right now I like the idea and so that is what I'm making this painting based off of, is the concept of what I see for this retelling. And so I still need to get all set up for this painting happening. I have to put down my plastic drop sheet. I'm very, very excited, but I chose out which canvas I wanted to use from my canvas stash. And I'm gonna be doing a 10 by 30. I'm very excited. It's a nice sized canvas. It's kind of fun because the ocean does play a major role in this story. And so I really like the depth that I'm gonna be able to get to like make it seem like we're in the ocean. This could go all very horribly wrong but we're gonna hope it doesn't. All right, so now it's time for me to set up my painting setup, choose my colors and get started. I'm currently sitting on the floor of what I'm calling my art closet, staring at my line of paints, which is behind the camera, sort of trying to figure out what colors I think really accurately symbolize the story. And I think it's gonna be a lot of like rich colors so like a deep jewel tone and i mean it's hades and persephone so like some of that like pomegranate red and there's mermaids and so we need some blues and some like deep sea colors i think i need to stop staring at the paints and actually like stand up and choose some we are obviously gonna need to grab some paint thinner <laughs> definitely chose way too many colors. I normally pick like no more than five or six. And for this one right now, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then that's gonna be one, so eleven. I'm not gonna lie, that's probably too many. I love how I don't really have a plan for this. I don't even really know what I want the final product to look like. This is purely just for fun. We're gonna see what happens. Now that everything is set up and my lighting is so incredibly yellow, I think it's time to begin painting. These are the colors I ended up with. White, gold, dark blue, a red-pink combination for the pomegranate color, a sparkly teal, dark purple, and black. I hope I mixed enough paint. Before I forget, I do need to mix silicone into a couple of them to kind of get the effect I'm going for. And then I get to put on my favorite gloves ever. They're paint covered and beautiful. falling over but it's looking really good so far and I'm getting paint all over the place and it almost knocked over all my paints over here but it's looking good so far Okay, so 
so the painting is done. I am covered in paint. This is after trying to wash it off. I have some on my arm. I have some on my legs. I have some on my feet. There's a lot of paint everywhere right now. I'm gonna be peeling paint off of myself for like the next five to seven days. I should have worn my gloves. I decided not to wear my gloves because they were too bulky. And then now I remember why I choose to wear my gloves. I love how the piece turned out. I love how it kind of looks like a wave, which was not really my intention, but I did put a lot of white at the top and I know that. And so I know that I did that to myself, but I really like it. So none of the red actually made it into my painting, which I'm actually okay with because I really liked how it turned out and I don't think the red was gonna vibe with the rest of the painting as well as I thought it was going to. And so it really ended up with just the white, the gold, the blue, the teal, the purple, and the black. And I really like how it turned out. I do think that that was a really fun way to try and push myself off from getting a jump start on my Camp Nano project and cheating. A bug just hit my window. Now I just have to wait for the painting to actually dry so I can hang it up somewhere in my apartment. It will probably go up somewhere in this room, which is my like creative space. All right, it is the next day the painting has dried and I'm really excited to show it to you guys, especially in this natural light because it is much better than the yellow light of the bathroom that I was doing this in. But here is the final product. <laughs> you guys got to see a little bit more of the detail in this. I'm really, really proud of this. I think it's really, really cool with some of the colors being metallics. And we'll probably end up putting like a resin coat on top of this at some point, but not gonna do that quite yet. But I totally think that this looks like a wave with like the top part crashing over here and then it kind of goes into like deeper, darker waters. But this was like such a fun experiment and like just a thing for me to do before Camp Nano starts, which today is technically July 1st because yesterday is when I made this painting and so Camp NaNoWriMo July has started and I want to say happy Camp Nano to everybody I wish you guys the best of luck and because this is going up on July 2nd I wanted to ask you guys how your July 1st went how your goals are doing if you're already freaking out or already killing it I want to know I don't yet know where in my apartment I want to put this up it will probably go up somewhere in my office space but I'm not entirely sure about that yet when I finally film my office tour which will be at some point in the month of July, I will make sure I add a note of where I ended up putting this painting. But all right, that is it for me today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I know this was something a little bit outside of what I normally do, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a big thumbs up. And if you have not already, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button because it really supports my channel. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know in the comments down below because I know it is something a little bit outside of what I normally do. And who knows, I might do some more of these in the future if you guys enjoyed it. Because this is going up on July 2nd, have Happy NaNoWriMo, everybody. I'm so excited to write alongside all of y'all. One of my videos per week will be a weekly writing vlog, catching you guys up on how things are going for me writing my new project, which I'm super, super excited about. I'm also just like so excited to finally start something new. I know I've talked a lot about this. That's why it's so hard for me to like hold myself back and not start yet, but I can't wait to see how everyone does and oh, it's just around the corner. And because it's July 2nd right now, I want you guys to comment down below and tell me how camp is going for you so far, how you did on the first day, how you're feeling, if you're still super excited, or if it's already hit you that it's gonna be hard. I'm still living in delusion and we love it here. I normally post writing vlogs and writing related videos as well as doing occasional live streams and I post videos twice a week on Mondays and Thursdays. And so I will see you guys next time with another video. Bye.